Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get the Dragonbone Cuirass in Morrowind. So to get started you're going to want to go to Ebonheart which is where I am right now. You can get here via boat or you can get here via uh, Divine Intervention. If you uh, are in Vivic and you use Divine Intervention it'll take you straight to the Ebonheart Chapel which is on the opposite side of Ebonheart but still in Ebonheart. And, uh, you can get here basically any town that has a boat that is in the uh, southwestern or southeastern portion of Morrowind or Vordenfell, to be more specific. Take that to Ebonheart and you'll be right here. So our, we're going to be heading southwest of Ebonheart along the water. So let me, uh, we need water walking in order to get there. Well, we don't need it, but it'll definitely make it easier. Let's use water walking. And we'll also need water breathing to... Uh, safely get inside or to navigate the dungeon easier i guess would be the best way to put it it is not required but it is highly recommended because navigating the dungeon without it will be quite difficult and tedious so uh you notice southwest of ebonheart there's a whole bunch of islands and the one we're looking for is right here it's a little island with cattails on it and usually two mud crabs roaming around so here, here's the island right here. You can see uh, one of the one of the mud crabs has kind of gotten uh, a little wet. The other one's just chilling on the island like so. And uh, we need to wait for our water walking to expire, so we'll slay the mud crabs. Here's a slaughter fish. I don't think I can hit him. I can't hit him either, the Draymora guy from where I am. So uh, we actually need to wait for water walking to expire, and then we can enter the Mudan Grotto through the uh, underwater entrance, which is right here. Apparently we can't hit these guys through the water. Sad face. So here is the uh, Mudan Grotto caravan door. Apparently we can't shoot our bow in water and hit them either. Uh, we'll leave them. So the whole first part of this dungeon is going to be underwater. And there's going to be a whole bunch of little callops AKA uh, containers with pearls, they're clams right here, which you can uh, you can dive through here. You can grab some pearls if you want, which will give you some extra money. Up to you if you would like to go that route. Ultimately though, all we need to do is uh, swim through this portion of the dungeon until we get to the uh, Dweamer Ruins, which are coming up. And then in the Dweamer Ruins, we need to find basically two keys. We need to find uh, a key to well, technically, we don't have to find any keys if you have high enough open locks. You need to open a lock level of 60 and then a lock level of 100 or just a lock level of 60 uh, to reach what we're after. Thought I heard combat music. I do hear combat music. Aha, there you are. Uh, okay, so let's go to the tower first because the tower gives us the key we need for the, uh, for the chest or for the, uh, for the desk. That's what it's called. So the tower is over here. It's called the right tower on the map. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, right tower. And in here we'll find the corpse of uh, Pikachu. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Pikachu. Uh, sorry. Uh, and he has a cliche note next to his corpse, which he rec uh, recognizes is quite cliche, where he basically scribbles his last words. Basically, what happened is he had a potion, he drank the wrong one, he drank the potion that poisoned himself, and he basically offed himself. Sad fate, comical indeed, for a guy named Pikachu. So, uh, on Pikachu, he'll have this Dweamer key to the table in Mudan, which you'll want to loot. Because this is the one that will allow us to access the, uh, the little chest or the little table which has the uh, the next key we need which will get us into the rest of the dungeon so we're going to go upstairs to find the dweamer table is that yeah didn't didn't say in there because the water obscured him and also the water is going to obscure this table right here. This is the table we need to open in order to get uh, to get the second key. And the first key actually opens this uh, table. It's very, very hard to see though because as you can see like the water completely obscures it. 
the water completely obscures that table too. Dagnabbit. Keep jumping around and landing on stuff and then getting stuck. So now we're going back. Uh, we're going for another swim. Let's go underwater again. Basically in the same direction, but this way, this time instead of uh, going to the right tower, we're going to go up here. And this will take us to the uh, central vault, I'm fairly certain it's called. Where's the slaughterfish? I hear combat music. There you are. And here is the central vault. Now there will be an enemy in here who we're going to uh, dispose of rather quickly. Well, rather slowly, I mean. This Steam Guardian 2 is going to drop the next key that we need. There we go. Dweamer Guardian key. So we're going to take this. And uh, we're actually going to pillage like everything in here because everything, since it's the Dweamer Ruin, everything is worth quite a bit of money. And here is uh, the closet which is going to have the Dragon Bone Curse, which is right here. As you can see, it is a very, very, very good piece of heavy armor. It's uh, basically on par with uh, Lord's Mail. The downside is it's a little bit heavier and it doesn't have... Uh, Actually, in my opinion, it has a better a better enchantment because it gives a constant effect instead of uh, instead of an on use. And that's really all there is to it. The whole uh, there's a whole bunch of other goodies in here, like I said before, that you can uh, pillage. I'm just gonna go through and grab everything. This potion too is uh, Arguably one of the best potions in the game. You can just use it yourself or you can uh, vendor it up to you, whichever you'd like to do. And that's really all there is to it. We've looted up the entire uh, treasure room, got our Lord's Mail, and now we're done here. If uh, you guys feel that I left anything out, Please let me know in the comments below if this video helps some of you guys out. Please leave me a like and uh, I'll catch you guys around in future Morrowind videos. Peace.